Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. Every day when we wake up, it's a new day. Many of us drag what happened yesterday into today, and therefore it kind of messes today up as well. In our total quest every day to be happy, there's one thing everyone wants in the world, no matter what's going on, that is to be happy. And one of the things that we have to understand is how do we do that? It really is a foul in the way we're thinking is one of the reasons happiness doesn't happen. Today, what I want you to really understand is in your mind are endorphins, neuropeptides, and chemicals that are creating your moods, your attitudes, and everything that's going on with you. And what happens is if we habitually find ourselves with a bad attitude, by just having that bad attitude for no more than three days in a row and allowing that to happen, that literally sets a baseline for the neuropeptides, endorphins, and chemicals in our brain to create what we call a mental cocktail. It kind of sets itself up to make that our standard. And every day that ends up being our mood. It literally sets a behavior in motion that becomes standardized. The way we break out of that is to literally force yourself to act as if you're happy. Now, I know that sounds ridiculous, but what you can do is force a smile on your face even when you don't feel like it. Just by the sheer attitude of creating a smile right here forces and backward engineers your brain to have to fire off the chemicals in order for that muscle action to happen. Associated with that certain muscle action, the sign of a smile, also pushes the neuropeptides, chemicals, and endorphins through your brain that also has a feeling tied to that, which is happiness, whatever happiness is. Always remember, you're much smarter when you're relaxed than when you're stressed out. If we're not happy, that means we're stressed out, and that means we're going to make bad decisions, have a bad attitude, and literally force people away from us. And when we force people away from us, we're forcing attitudes and also opportunities away from us as well. As we go into the holiday season, let's really work on creating an atmosphere inside of our own mind of happiness, or at least relaxing. What's going to happen when you do that? You're going to create opportunities. You're going to attract people to you. And when you attract people to you, you're literally attracting opportunities to you. You have control of this, even though it may seem like you don't. Many people that are on antidepressants really don't require those antidepressants. What they require is a new lesson in creating the neuropeptides, chemicals, and endorphins to fire in their brain that creates a whole different mindset, a little bit of happiness. You can do this. There's all kinds of things written out there about happiness. We talked about that in a past tune-up. So I want you to pay attention to this today. And as we move into the holiday season, understand your ability to make other people happy first lies within yourself and making yourself focus on the things that you love and the blessings in your life rather than all the tragedies and misnomers that happen to us on a daily basis. Also, I'm looking forward to our cruise in next May. Tomorrow, I'm going to be talking about some of the things we're going to be doing on that cruise, some of the features of the seminars I'm going to be teaching. We're going to have two of them, not just one of them. And I'm looking forward to having you go with us so we can have some fun. So tune in tomorrow. We're going to talk a little bit about that. And i got a special program for you tomorrow. Until then, this is Dr. Gary asking you to put a smile on your face, act like you're happy, and you'll be surprised what's going to happen about 20 minutes after that. Bye-bye.